Good morning, my loyal viewers and friends. Um, it is Tuesday, which today is Earth Day. It is today. Not yesterday. I was faked into believing. Um, it's 58. It feels warmer. There's a little bit of a cloud cover, so not too, not too bad. I uh, was in a meeting already this morning and trimmed down a bunch of packaging materials for dashboards, for die cutting. Um, this way I recycle them and I just cut off um, non-flat surfaces so then I have them flat. So I've done that already. Um, I have not created a to-do list yet so I will do that. I'm going to get my little um, card. Get that ready. What color do I feel like? I feel like purple today. And let's see. Tonight's dinner is definitely going to be a roasted chicken because I have a little pullet in the uh, that's been taken out of the freezer. No, it's not one of ours. Relax. I'm a hypocrite. I've said this many times before. I can't eat the meat I've met. Um, and that's a disconnect that I'm trying to deal with in my head. I could easily be a vegetarian again. Um, my husband, not so much. So I we've made a compromise. There's days we eat vegetarian like we did yesterday. By the way, that pasta was delicious. I think Paulie threw all his love in there trying to apologize for being uh, uh, for being inconsiderate and disrespectful, which, you know, he... Each one of us can do that, uh, have us the capacity to do that, sometimes knowingly, sometimes unknowingly. Um, it's how you recover from it. So he recovered quite well. He made dinner, because I refused to. I said, well then, uh, if you don't respect me, I'm not going to cook for you. <laughs> Plain and simple, because I cook with love, and if I'm not feeling it, it's not going to taste right either. So he did make a very lovely pasta dish, veggie pasta dish with broccoli and black olives, red um, bell peppers, um, onions, garlic. It was very, very tasty. And mushrooms. So I'm going to have that as leftovers for lunch today, but I haven't even had breakfast, so I'm going to make some coffee, I think. I haven't had coffee in several days. Um, I've seen the big girls. They've been fed, um, and they have water. I've seen the little girls, the chicks, and they're growing by leaps and bounds, because when I took the grate off to change the water earlier today, or this morning. Uh, one of them tried to fly out, so yeah. Oh, and I just watched Moses lift his leg and pee accidentally on Mushka. Oh, so it means Mushka needs a bath. So, <laughs> I was looking out my window. They're out there walking around. Um, so I need to refill the chicks' food. They devoured an entire canister of food yesterday, so they're growing by leaps and bounds. One of them tried to fly out, so I know I can't leave that open, especially when Samantha's hanging around. So I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna go make my coffee, and then while I'm having my coffee, I will make up my to-do list for today, um, and I will grab my 50 shades um, of chicken book that my sister gave me, the recipe book, and see if I can find something in there, something um, that I haven't tried yet for um, the roasted little pullet that we have. And that pullet is going to be enough for two meals and probably lunches for tomorrow. It's not a very big chicken, obviously. It might be, it might be three pounds with the bones, so yeah, gives you an idea. But I could, I know there's a really funny truss, uh, tr all trussed up recipe. So I might do that. I have some um, citrus I could stuff it with. And I think I saw thyme coming back in the garden. Don't quote me on that. But So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my coffee. Um, decide what I want to have for breakfast. I still have macarons, but I don't feel like having macarons for breakfast. Make out my to-do list get that going. I don't have any other meetings today. Um, they're all done for the day, but I do have a couple of things I need to accomplish work-wise that are on my uh, on my list to tackle when it's kind of calm and quiet. And then maybe I will tackle running out to Dollar Tree in Polly's car. Uh, it still hasn't gone in the shop, so I don't want to drive it too far. So Polly has my car. And I did not make it to Ulta yesterday afternoon. That was one of the issues that I had with Polly, because he left and forgot that I was going to go. 
So, all right, let me go do that, and I'll catch up with you later during the day. I thought I'd take a little break outside. It's beautiful. Uh, 66 degrees. Oh, you can't see it. Anyway. And look, Chester and his toy, and I got a green egg out of the coop. Hi, Chester. Honey, we already played. I don't want you hips to start to hurt you. So, um, Mushka's in heat so she's not leaving the boys alone it's really quite hysterical if I catch one of those moments I'll show you share with you she and I have my capris on now so happy to do that no sake sake's put away I'm actually working on my first spring project which I will share with you guys once it's complete no Chester we're not playing not playing um, I have to bring some veggies out to the girls. I forgot to bring out this morning. Moses has spaghetti spots, spaghetti sauce stain spots on his back because he stands underneath daddy when he eats. Go play, Mushy, go play. And um, Polly has a tendency to drop stuff. So yeah, Moses has some stainage on him. Oh, it's so nice out here. It's a little um, overcast, but hey, it's warm. Grass is growing, as you could see. And I noticed that our chimney back there, that's our fireplace, is missing a block all of a sudden. And there's some stuff that needs to be cleaned up there, so I will have to check it out. More things to add to our... You're really cute, Chester, but I can't play with you because then you'll be hurting. I have to add that to our list of projects to do. So, shamefully, I'm not going to share the before, but I will certainly share the after. We've been excruciating lazy when it comes to laundry. Not the doing part. I do the laundry, and then I fold it, and then I put it in piles to be brought upstairs. Because our laundry facilities, our washer and dryer, are in the basement. And our bedroom, and 99% of... Shaw! Who needs an alarm? Okay, okay, it's okay. It's a, mushy, it's okay. When she barks, the tufts of fur on her back stand up. There's moles. So, sorry about that. Um, so, shamefully, I have piles and piles of clean laundry that need to be put away. Well, this is what happens. Okay, he's itching himself, scratching himself, his itch. Um, instead of putting them away, they end up being dug through, and then they're no longer piles, just a big mess. So that's what I'm tackling today. And I've already found stuff that needs to be donated, stuff that needs to be rewashed because somebody accidentally put dirty stuff on top of clean stuff. Nasty. You can take one guess who that would be. And um, I'm going to separate Polly's uniforms in one spot. I've been asking him to go through his uniforms, tell me which ones he's returning so I could poach the buttons off of them to save for the ones that I can fix. Because once a uniform, I think I might have mentioned this before, once a uniform is no longer viable to wear, they have to be turned back in uh, because they, because um, uniforms are guarded as a security measure. You don't want someone showing up at your house that's not actually a UPS delivery person posing as one right so they have to be turned back in even if they're ripped or whatever so that's what I I have on my to-do list for today or that's one of the things no honey no 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 we already played and you if I play anymore with you you won't be able to walk up the stairs tonight to go to bed I know you're very cute and I want to play with you but honey, you're not a young doggy. He's like, whatever. I'll go lie in the shade. <laughs> so yeah, I um, just finished my coffee. I totally forgot about it, but it's okay. It was in the thermos. Therm thin hey, Chester, come here. Chester. Chester, come here. Nice, he's hard of hearing now too. Bad hips, hard of hearing. Mushy, just because he barks doesn't mean you have to. So, yeah, I found a bunch of stuff. Um, 
that needs to be put away, obviously. And it's always easier for me to do without Polly at home because he's like, he because he is like a child when he distracts, he gets bored of tasks and it's definitely more, oh, 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 oh love fest, sorry. <laughs> turn away um it's really more of something that i need to take care of myself so and because he cooked last night i have to go over the kitchen with antibacterial wipes oh lord he i mean meal was great i'm not complaining about the meal but the aftermath it really is like there's been a catered party um with you know multiple chefs in there it, everything's pulled out, nothing's put back, every doorknob, every drawer pull, the refrigerator door handles are all covered in some unknown substance that I need to now disinfect before I can touch it. It's just, does anyone else have that issue when their spouse cooks? I mean, there's always a cleaner and a messier person in the house. I'm not sure. Polly definitely fails on the kitchen part. And I tend to be the one to put stuff away and oh lovely breeze hopefully you're not getting too much of the wind all right I'm gonna end for here for now enjoy a few more minutes out here with the dogs and then go in and make myself a large seltzer oh actually I think I did put one in this morning in the fridge so grab my seltzer go get some work done and bring another pile of stuff um, up to our room hi Mosky. Mosey, you're the sweetest dog. So many of you know that I'm on a self um, in, an imposed shopping hold, so I'm only buying items as needed. And I went to use my stays on uh, Royal Purple ink, and to find that it's almost dry, I had to really, really press. So I even posted a little Instagram picture of it. I said little, and I don't have any reinkers besides the black for stays on. So I don't know whether at this point it's worthwhile to get a new stamp pad or get a reinker because the pad is fine. It's not like it's ripped or anything. So yeah, dilemma. I'll have to check to see if Joanne's um, online has their inks 40 or 50 percent off at the moment. Maybe they have reinkers because I don't know if I could wait until the Blitzy sale next time has them on st for stays on. Oh, and I have to clear my memory card because my thing is flashing. Less than two minutes left. The girls got treats from the table. Lettuce, cucumber peels, carrots, peppers. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, the spring scent in our town is <laughs> cow manure. It's lovingly nicknamed Smellington. <laughs> We have um, a couple of farms that uh, where the milk from Stu Leonard's comes from. And actually, the funny thing is, is when we're in Stu Leonard's in, in uh, Newington, is it Newington? Yeah, Newington. The um, feed, the live feed to the milker cow farm, because it's milkers, not burger patties is to the town we live in and I just picked up a neggy from the girls it's really nice out so I think I'm gonna leave the dogs out here to play because the mail's already been delivered there's those two and Chester's checking something in the bushes oh. it's so funny they have to pee over everything and yeah I had leftovers for lunch and I couldn't eat all the leftovers. I still have like a third left. So if I can't think of a way to repurpose it, I might have to toss it because it's already been warmed up twice. And I got my um, Amazon order, which I'll show you in a sec. I'm going to go bring the egg in, wash it, and put it away. Hey, Tester. Hey. He has allergies, really bad allergies. You want to go and get a drink? Oh, I guess I don't want to go in. Come on. Come on, Mose. He's going to walk around the cans. Mushka goes in between, he goes around. 
There's my... <laughs> it almost sounds silly to say it, but two quarts of ponzu. Yeah, we use it that much. Actually, I need to check to see, because I'm going to put um, a manageable amount into the bottle that I just finished. If I can pop the lid off, if not, I'll just put in a squeeze bottle refrigerator after opening it. So once I open it um, and put in the smaller, con you know, put it in a small container, I'll put both in, in the refrigerator because I don't want my ponzu going bad. And what I might do, because I use it so often, I might mix up a batch of that my favorite dressing, which is peanut oil, ponzu, and nutritional yeast, and just have it on hand in the fridge. That way, and then I might put that in a squeeze bottle if I process it enough. Oh my gosh, I'm like... I think I have <laughs> I think I have allergies because I've been itchy, sneezy, um, watery eye. I like I've never been before, but anyway. So this is the um, lemon version. There's also a lime version, and I got this for I got it from Amazon, thirteen ninety eight or fourteen oh three, something like that, around fourteen dollars shipped because I have Prime. <laughs> Okay, there you go. There's someone's walking by. Uh, middle school must be out. Yep, middle school's out. It's a it's two blocks from our house, or a few blocks from our house. So yeah, I'm gonna do that after work. If you missed it, I'll include a link uh, below because I was asked to uh, spike out um, crafty portions of my daily vlogs, which I did. I did a separate video on this particular empty box and how I'm using it so yeah take a look if you have time <laughs> I'm laughing because Polly just called me and said something really hysterical <laughs> oh so funny he certainly is trying to make it up he's very sweet you know intent really means a lot it carries very quite far so yeah I, I have, um, oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty, I need to make another seltzer. So I'm going to make another seltzer and then go grab my chicken, 50 Shades of Chicken <laughs> book to pick out uh, which chicken recipe I'm going to use on tonight's little pullet. Alright, I'm getting ready to put the chicken in the oven, 50 Shades of Chicken by F.L. Fowler. My sister gave this to me for holidays. I'm making a variation of this roasted chicken with tangerine and sage. I'm going to use lemon and thyme because they both complement each other. And uh, I may or may not trust it. It's a We have a little pullet. It's like maybe three pounds. And then uh, on the side I'm making roasted um, Brussels sprouts with balsamic vinegar and a red bell pepper. And here's my ponzu, which I refilled into this container. The only thing I have left to do is pop this in. So I just pop that out to pour in the... Um, both of these have to be refrigerated now since they're open. So that pops right in. That's the shaker top. And that's what I want to use. And um, while this stuff is in the oven, because once it's in the oven, I'm done, I'm going to make the dressing to have on hand that my favorite uh, ponzu nutritional yeast and um, oh I just saw a chick drink from the water bottle about flipping time girlies um, peanut oil nutritional yeast and ponzu and this is from the garden I already got pulled this off from the garden so let me show you what the chicken looks like before I goes in the oven all right, so there's the chicken. I found a little orange that was probably beyond eating straight. So, um, and rather than juice it, I popped it in the belly or in the cavity of the chicken. See, it's a tiny little pullet and I did trust it. So it is 50 Shades of Chicken, F.L. Fowler. <laughs> and I'll include a link to the Amazon um, page for that book. If anybody's interested, I sprinkled um, Time over it into the cavity salt black pepper it's going in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit and then I'm gonna prep the Brussels sprouts to go in alongside of it all right there's a Brussels sprouts are going into the oven 
With red pepper, it's just a little bit of grapeseed oil, salt, and black pepper. When they're just about done is when I'm going to drizzle on the balsamic vinegar. If I do it on now, if I put it on the pan now, all it's going to do is burn because there's so many sugars in it, it'll caramelize the pan instead of the food. So that's going in now. Uncle Polly came home and gave me a big old UPS coffee mug. It says UPS on it. Honey, I'm showing it to them. Thank you, Mr. Redundant. Actually, redundant in uh, England means laid off, but in in the States it means unnecessary. Or, oh, oh one of the chicks just, oh, man, I missed it. She just stretched her wings. I guess it means the same thing, redundant. So, but, um, no, Mr. Obvious probably is more apropos, but look how big that is. Is this 16 ounces? Yeah, probably more than that. Oh, I'm going to wash it and try it out tomorrow for breakfast. So stuff's in the oven. I'm going to run downstairs and swap out the laundry. And then uh, dinner should be ready in about 30 minutes. Just plenty of time to get another pile of clothes together, which I hope are all going to get brought upstairs. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Was that subtle enough? Say no more, say no more. <laughs> he got it. I promised to share my favorite Ponzu peanut oil nutritional yeast recipe for the dressing. So I got this giant thing of Ponzu today. I've already filled up my little use everyday container, which will go in the fridge, but for this I'm gonna use it from the, uh, from its mm, big mo bohemoth mommy peanut oil and nutritional yeast. So I'm going to use one uh, two parts peanut oil, which is half a cup, and one part ponzu, which is quarter cup, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. So I'm going to put everything in here, the measurement, the liquid measurements, and then I will put it in this container and use my immersion blender rather than get my blender or food processor out. <laughs> I actually changed the recipe amount. I decided to use a cup of oil and a third, of, uh, quarter cup, a cup of peanut oil, half a cup of ponzu, and two heaping tablespoons of nutritional yeast. So I'm gonna blend this up and then taste it. I figure if I'm already going to make it, might as well make enough for the next week or so, which it will sit in the fridge. So I've blended it, and look at the consistency. It kind of looks a little bit like thin down tahini. It is delicious. It's got a little hint of cheesiness. It has that really depth of flavor that ponzu provides uh, besides just soy, because soy is in ponzu, but there's so many other layers of flavor. It's really yummy. So I'm gonna transfer this to this container, label it, and pop it in the fridge so my husband doesn't think it's some stuff that he can toss out. And that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping me company. I know it was a little longer than yesterday, but that's how it goes. Some days are long and some days are not. I think I'm going to mix it just a little more. And then once it's in this container, I can just shake it up. Actually, I wonder if I should just put it in my... You know what? I'm going to put it in the squeeze bottle. I think that might be the best thing. Let me show you what that looks like. Let me pulse this up a little more and because I have a pouring spout rather than keep it in this, I'll just put it in a squeeze bottle and put that in the fridge. Now I'm done. This is much easier and this way if I need to shake it up I'll just put my finger over it and shake it up that way. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, I don't know what it is about this flavor combination. It's, I find it so yummy but I'm sure I'll need to take a break from it so while I'm really enjoying it I'm going to have it so what I think I'm going to need to do is tomorrow go and pick up some kale or some darker greens to make a salad because I think tomorrow we're having individual mashed um, shepherd pie bombs with some mashed potatoes and whatever veggie I find in the freezer corn probably so, yeah, that's it for me for today. Don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I will see you all tomorrow, which is hump day. I still love it. Still think that commercial is funny. What day is it? So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you all tomorrow.